Hello YouTube, welcome back to the next episode of Mod Reviews. Uh, today I'm here with Happer. Uh, I got a new custom kind of carpet thing, but it's like a bouncy castle, of course. So, yep, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So today we're gonna do the uh, sword mod thing. What was? It? Useless swords. That's what it's called. So, yep, let's get started. So Happer has left, left me some swords in this chest. So, yep. Thanks, Happer. Very, very cool. <laughs> get some steak. Let's go over here. Oh, let's take out one of these swords real quick. I'm gonna start out with this one, which is the water iron glass sword. That's a hard thing to read. And I'm just realizing that I need a pickaxe right now. So, give me some time pickaxe. Boom. All right, thank you. All right, let's go. So, go up here. Get this random zombie villager. Yeah. So I built an arena, which we were going to use for um the new combat mods that we are going to be using. Wow. <laughs> and then if we look over here for a little bit, uh, if we peek through here, that just gonna get, that's a mega arena for the more big kind of things. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Let me plop this down somewhere. Preferably here. Boom. There you go. So. We got a whole bunch of swords that we're going to be doing using today. So yeah, here we go. All right, so here are our challenges. We're going to be going up and up and up and up until we eventually find a wither with the strongest sword in the, in the mod. So uh, yeah. So let's get started. Um, get my music. All right. So the first thing is the water and iron glass sword. So yeah. Uh, right clicking does something. I don't know. You can see the little cooldown. What, is this? what does that do? Not sure. But uh, yeah, you can hit him. Yeah. It's, it's only as good as a sword and a wind sword. It breaks easily, so I don't recommend using it that much. Next up is the mushroom sword, which you can craft using this. And it's slightly stronger than a wood sword. So, throw down two zombies for this one. Oh, that's it. Right. We're good. There we go. Alright. Yep. Just bonk. Bonk. Ouch. Bonk. Bonk. Bam. Boom. Boom. Destroyed. Stick, please. Thank you. Alright. And, yeah, most of these swords have low durability. Next up is the quartz sword, which you can use by making any kind of quartz block and another quartz and a stick. Throw down two more zombies. It's as good as an iron sword. Don't know about the durability, though, so... And bam. Pretty simple. Not to mention, some of these things have abilities, too, so yeah. Next up is the netherrack sword. It's as good as a stone sword. Pretty dang easy to craft as well, so that's good. Uh, let me throw over here. Alright, summon a creeper. Be careful with these guys. No special abilities. Yeah, most of these swords have right click abilities. So. Yep. That's it for that one. Alright. Next up is the stone coal sword. It's uh, a little bit stronger than the stone sword. You make it like this. It's pretty easy to craft too. And I think it like blinds your enemies or something like that. So, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, blindness. Boom, baby. Oh, that's pretty cool. It actually exploded into more blinding stuff. <laughs> yeah, let me patch this up really quick. Boom. Oh, yeah, it's too, too, still a few holes. Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright. Let's go over here. Next up is the Lapis Lazuli Sword. Crafted by this, and there's an animal stick, which you can make too. So, yep. Alright, spawn a witch. <laughs> Try to take him out, and he spawns a whole bunch of uh, experience when you hit an enemy. So that's pretty uh, useful. And uh, hey, look at that—we got some surprise guests. By surprise guests, I mean guests that are going to beat wrecked. Ouch! Get him, creeper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Thankfully, I have an obsidian crate, so that can't blow up. Next up is the wooden sand sword, which also blinds your enemies. Spawn two. Ow. Oh, I've been poisoned. Okay, so I might actually die here. Uh, heal up. Thank you. Uh, 
Okay, let's take our small break for this, because now they're fighting. Boom. Bam. 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 Boom. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. Yeah. Next up, we have the uh, sandstone sword, which I don't think there's anything special about that. It's just a sandstone sword. Uh, yeah, there's no, no special abilities or anything. Just, uh, it's just a normal sword. Hey, there are no drinking health potions in this house, brother. There is no drinking health potions. No. Yep. So, that's pretty good. And then red sand sword sword's the same thing. Uh, next up is the lava iron glass sword, which you could do with that. And it has no right-click ability. I guess it just sets things on fire. It's like a free fire aspect sword. So that's useful. Now we're gonna fight foxhounds, which are probably immune to fire. So bad thing to put it on. Boom. There you go. All right, those are the foxhounds. This would have burned them, but you know their foxhounds are immune to fire. Iron glass sword, which is you know just a catalyst for these two. So uh, yeah. So, okay. Now let's get into the uh, stronger things, like the uh, frozen diamond sword. Alright. Uh, Y'all didn't know what those do. Alright, back with cubes. Let's go. Alright. This one slows them, which is extremely useful, I guess. It's just a. So, yeah. Ow! Okay, that actually did a lot of damage. Ooh, get like that, boy. Boom, 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 bop. I said bop, thank you. Probably should have bought some armor. Oh well. Let's do some sweep attacks. So let's take off these guys. And bam, that's done for. One more bop. There you go. Pretty cool. Level 20 now. <laughs> yeah. So the Lapis Sword is actually very useful. Uh, if y'all remember what that did. It's Emerald Slash Sword. It's an Emerald Sword, but it's strong, so yeah. You, just, you need Emerald Sticks more, so yeah. We'll see what this one does. Alright, let's go. I don't think this one does any special. Yeah, it's just like a strong Diamond Sword. Also, I think it might be more enchantable than gold, I think. Yeah. Oh, that one dropped the spell button. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty useful. Anyways, next up is the gold uh, iron ally sword, which you can make this, that, smelt, boom, gold iron ally sword. So yeah, let's see what we can do with that. Enderman! Okay, here we go. Come here. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, I had a really bad start with that one. Oh boy, I spawned over here. I spawned in the Omega Arena, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Give me a three really quick. I gotta set this as a spawn point. Zero spawn point. Thank you. Alright, now fight me. Come on. Ooh. Ooh! You're sweet! <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, next up is the Iron Redstone Sword, which, if you right click the ground, you get a speed boost, which is very useful because I'm about to fight two enemies. Here we go. Come on. Need that other enemy to get uh, activated. Oh, chill out, chill out. Enemies are freaking fast. Oh well. Speed. Uh, boom. Pop. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yep, there you go. Alright, let's move over here. Speed. Boom. Right, thank you. That's how you craft it, by the way. Um, except it's wooden red. It, it's the same thing as the sand sword, it's just that. Um, the iron slime sword. This one I actually like because it gives. It's basically the same as a redstone sword, but you get a jump boost. So and it's very short, but it also has a short cooldown too. So that's good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Where's the? Oh, enemy skills. Actually, that's used in making the enemy sword, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, let's get this guy down. Ooh. Back up. Bam. Destroyed. Pretty cool. Just my jump boost to get up here quickly. Alright. Next up is the Diamond Soul Sand Sword. 
which you could use by doing that into that. So, yep, really cool. All right, next up our show clothes. Spawn for you. Which also inflicts wither. So, it's really good actually. Whoa. <laughs> he actually <laughs> shot the other one. Oh my gosh. Nice. And we got a shulker shell too. That's pretty useful. Alright. Sweet. Ah. Back in here. Next up is the withered sword. It's just stone sword, but with the wither blood, which meant the wither bone, which drops from withers. You can bake that into the withered sword. Which is the same thing as the diamond souls and sword. So, yeah. I mean, that's just way easier to get than this. So, I don't know why they got it that. Anyways, next up is the wooden clay sword. I'm not sure what this one does. Uh, but we're going to see. Uh, let me get the music. Alright, here we go. Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm actually in deep blubbery now. Ooh, now I'm glad that I actually added this part of the arena. Alright. Sweet! It, actually, I'm kind of glad that I read it out of these arena bars, because they're just enough to get the, the levitation effect off. Alright. Oh, miss me. Yeah, I don't think it really does anything. It's just a stronger wood sword. Wait, I, I heard some clay sound effects, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Oh, okay, that's not good. Get to the bars. Ah, let's slap these things out of the air. Oh boy. Oh! Okay, that. Okay, only four hearts is fine. Oh, you teleported that. Eh? Think you can teleport away from me, boy? Oh. Alright, let's get these guys down. There you go. Oh, come on! That sorted. Oh gosh, you're sniping me. Uh, you might want to chill out, skeleton. Let me heal. Ouch. Ooh. Shoot the other skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> right, no, shoot the spider. Shoot the spider. Yeah, there you go. Oh well, it's still, it's still targeting me, anyways. That's a problem. Alright, get that thing that hit the spider, not me. I said the spider, not me. Thank you. Oh boy. Ow. Ooh, I really should have bought some armor. Move. Go oh, bonk, 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 bonk. Alright, thank you. Whew. The sword almost broke. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Next up is the Dragon Breath Diamond Sword. Uh, this one actually does two hearts of magic damage. So, yeah, there's that. We'll be in a be uh, fighting some evil wizards now, so that could be a problem. But uh, hopefully not too much of one. So yeah. Boom. Alright, here we go. Ow. Oh, oh boy. There you go, he's down. Poison is really being annoying. Alright. So yeah, it's just a stronger diamond sword, really. The molten iron sword. The more the more you hold it in your hand, the more it actually melts, but it inflicts fire. So kind of like the glass sword, but uh, it's melting or something. So yeah, there's that. Oh, and I forgot to show the recipe for that sword. Here's the recipe for this one and the recipe for this one. Okay, next up is the gas sword, which you can get from big gas tears, which is Bex X ectoplasm, which now drops from Bex's. Gas tears. Get out of my face. Shoot a fireball. Shoot, I should shoot the shoot the fireball. But yeah, this one can shoot a fireball, I think. Uh, it's not doing that. Oh well. I can still show it in combat. But yeah, it's really expensive. And it doesn't even shoot a fireball like it's supposed to, so. Uh probably wanna ask the mod developers to fix that one, but oh well. Next up is a Valhalla sword. This one's fairly expensive. By fairly, I mean it's a block of diamond, but you get uh, some Al Valhalla ingots, so you can make a sword. So, quite useful. Let's see what its abilities are. You get extra speed when holding it, and it inflicts super levitation. Like, super levitation. And then there you go. He's down. Cool. That's a 
that one. Next up is the Magma Stone Swords. Magma Stone Sword. Shoot. It's basically just a fire sword, so... Yeah. Let me get it down. Come on. There you go. Captain SP. Magma Rocks you can get from that, so... Yeah. Alright. That's a big hurricane kind of looking thing. I don't know. Then here's the magmatic uh, stone sword. I, I don't know if it's the same thing. I think this one's like the same thing, but only has a chance to inflict fire. I don't know, but we're moving on to, to heavy things, so here we go. Eat. Yeah, this is where we're actually going to have a lot of trouble. Yeah, I tell you what, hold up. Game one. Let me get my armor from over here. I'm glad I have these open door things, because, you know, they're so open up. Alright, let's get the uh, armor set. Pixel armor. Thank you. Alright. Zero. Heal. Thank you. Let's go. Ow. You're down. Cool. Where's the rest of them? There they are. Okay. Sneak up. Boom. Bam. Alright, next up is the Vex Sword, which I think has a chance to spawn a friendly Vex. Ah, uh, here's how you craft it. So, yeah. Uh, let me turn it up. Yeah, music. Here we go. Another one. Right click, summons friendly vexes. Something, it's supposed to do that. Come here. that vex ability is doing anything so i don't know what's up with that might want to ask the bot developer to fix that up but uh yeah there's that and then last but not least the cave spider sword uh, this crafting recipe it's kind of complicated but you know it's probably worth it because it because you get to inflict poison it makes uh spider noises too <laughs> and it'll freeze them in place so, not only does it do poison, but it inflicts, uh, poison. But, not only does it inflict poison, but it inflicts poison! What? No. But, yeah. That's it for that one. And, uh, yeah. It freezes them in place and inflicts poison. Now, you thought that was it. Okay? No, we got even more. Um, if we go into here... Uh, don't mind me, Mr. Creepers. I need to also add some iron golems to the mix. Uh, spawn. Let's get some tougher mobs. Like, hmm. Phoenix, Ice Giants, Shadow Wraiths. Ah, uh, more wizards, I guess. <laughs> and the. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okie doke. Go up here. And uh, this. We were actually hiding somewhere in here somewhere. Where were you? Boom. We have even stronger swords than last time. So, <laughs> yeah, I've been hiding these ones. These ones are the legendary swords. These are like the strongest swords in the game, and which is why we have the strongest mobs in the game for these. So here's the undying sword. Right click, you'll gain some bonus healths. And uh, there, as you see, four totems of undying pop up in my inventory. There's a chomping kind of thing that, that, that happens too. So. There's that. Oh, bam. You ain't gonna do nothing, boy. Yeah. And there's four totems of undying. So, uh, every time you die, you get a totem of undying effect. And once and once all the totems of undying run out, you're, you actually, the sword breaks. So, yeah. The durability is you. You are the durability. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's get started on that, I guess. Uh... Let's see what she's up. Oh. 
Ah, uh, some of the people. Bonus heals. Go up. So yeah, that's pretty useful. And uh, yeah. All right, that was the Undying Sword. Next up I'm is the um, Guardian Sword. Uh, this one gives you bonus speed. Um, Here's how you craft it. I forgot to show you how to craft the uh, Undying Sword, but uh, let me show you how to craft this one. This is how you craft it. Dying Gems is like this. Dying Ingots. And then here's how you craft all that. So, here's the Guardian Sword. Kind of complicated, but, you know, whatever. Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, spawn three wizards. Boom, easy. Spawn an Elder Guardian. Heal up. Boom, baby. And I just got hit with mine fatigue, of course. Boom, dead. Easy. Next one is the. Okay, well, we already did the Valhalla sword. Here's the Animan sword. This one you prep with this. Uh, you can teleport with this one. So, yeah, it's pretty useful. Oh, they actually do damage too. The enemy, the the impulse that broke and also do damage. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, that was quite a long one. I'm gonna go throw that out. Huh. I don't want that. Next up is the Ender Catalyst Sword. Here's how you craft it. It's pretty advanced. Here's the Endstone Sword, by the way. Boom. Dragon Scales, which you can get from the Dragon Eggs. So now they're actually useful. I told them I'm dying to make that and back into it. But the Ender Catalyst Sword. Uh, I'm not sure what those coordinate things are, but yeah. They're useful, that's all I know. So, yeah. Spawn uh, the Guardian Beckon. Oh! It sends them to the end! Yo! Okay. That's pretty useful. Look at that. Hitting enemies with the sword literally sends them to the end. Dang! That's probably one of the strongest swords. Alright, next up, the End Crystal Sword, which, here's how you craft it. Pretty expensive, but, yeah, I shouldn't. Oh, gosh. Ah, okay. uh, this one has a chance to explode, so. Yeah, also it explodes you. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> uh, so I'll just go ahead and... So, yeah, if you're gonna use this, have blast protection on your armor. Because that'll happen. <laughs> but it is a strong sword, but you'll need some blast protection on some armor. So yeah, let me not fight him with the sword. I'll fight him with the sword anyways. Yeah, just go ahead and blow up. There you go. Alright. Next up is the Shulker Sword, which sends them levitating. Oh. Boom. Adios, amigos. <laughs> okay, now we just gotta try and survive getting shot down by these guys. Eat up. Come on. Come on, let me hit you. Oh gosh. Oh, they hit me in a bubble. What the heck? I can't hit any of them. Come on. 
How's this going on anymore? I don't even know. Uh, boom. Ready? Get out of here. Hit him with that. Right, let's get this <laughs> oh boy. That one's gonna go in here. Yeah. So that is that. Next up is the Wither Sword. This is like one of the strongest in the, in this mod. Extremely expensive, but it's worth it because. Uh, look at this. Look at that two shot. Look how quickly I took out took out those phoenixes. That was crazy. Uh, let's use some ice shines. Easy. Easy. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, yeah, that's actually easy. Oh shoot. Oh, it's out. Be careful. Back a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Super easy to take out enemies. Looks awesome in your hand too. Looks like a giant fork. <laughs> giant fork. No. Here's another catalyst sword, which, if I'm not wrong, also sends into the nether. Let's try it out. No right click abilities, but it's just really strong. Inflicts wither and uh, sets them on fire. It's a lot of damage. Next up is the weakened sword. Here's how I craft it. Also extremely expensive, but if I'm not wrong, hitting enemies will give you random buffs, too. Is that what happens? I don't know. Boom. Easy. Dead. Cool. Alright. Let's do the uh, charged gold iron alloy sword. So the gold, uh, the uh, the gold iron alloy sword. By the way, if you get struck by lightning while you have it in your hand, it'll become a charged one. Which, by the way, you're likely never gonna get it. But uh, there's no right click abilities. So it's just really strong, and it breaks easily for some reason. I'm not sure why. My developer might want to fix that up. But uh, oh well. Next up is the Bugged uh, Diamond Sword. By far the strongest sword in the game. This is how you make a Bugged Diamond. And then, there you go. This one has a chance of deleting the enemy, like that. Look, it just deletes them. Delete, delete, delete. Oh, it has a chance of deleting it, doesn't always delete. But it does come at a price, because the enemies won't actually drop their items if you delete them. So yeah. We're gonna take on the Wither now. Uh, I'm gonna use my favorite sword from the mod, the Undying Sword, because it's just really cool and really powerful. It mostly because it has a whole bunch of effects. So that being said, here we go. I didn't even fight the Evokers. Oh well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh boy. Huh? <laughs> Turn that music up. This is gonna get crazy. Up, up. Here we go. I should have done this to the Reaper Arena, but I will. Oh yeah, and I'm now realizing that I should have got my bow. Hold up. Quick bow. Bow and some fire Zero. Throw over here. Boom. Here it comes. Up, up. Oh, I actually died. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah. Boom! Destroyed! Kick you out. Just stupid. Look. And yeah! Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's take a look at the damage done to this arena because it's not that bad, I guess. I mean, there's a whole bunch of craters, but yeah. And there's the tree under the arena somehow. <laughs> I, 
I'm not, I'm not even going to question. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that is it for today's uh, mod review. If you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more of this content. Um, that'll be it for today's video. Um, yep. Bye-bye.